So game two of the best of three. Will that La Cruiser take it or can Team Bomb tie it up? We'll soon see what happens in game two. Pretty good. I thought the uh, Protoss had a really good chance of taking that last one, but we'll see. And seems to be a little bit of a of a delay here. So we have Tomb Bomb, uh, the yellow Protoss in the uh, lower part of uh, the rig. And we have, or sorry, Cloud Kingdom. And we have Batla Cruiser, the Red Terran, up here in the upper part. So again, you have to remember, Tomb Mom is a master, um, a master Protoss. And we have a, uh, a Diamond Terran. So the Terran, <laughs> Batla Cruiser goes, good luck, have fun. And Batla Cruiser goes, no, you have fun. So... A little bit of uh, banter maybe going on. But that's fine. It's all part of the game. So very good matchups here. Um, didn't think that a mech could actually work uh, against. I think if he just uh, had a used um, uh, Immortals. Immortals work really well against stores. Um, um, not so much... Um, uh, the Banshees, but you know, Stalkers, Stalkers and the Mortals, but what, what do I know? I'm not a master. Um, so, <clears throat> we'll soon see what happens here in this game. Uh, we do see the barracks being made. Uh, Terran uh, did pull off the SCV and had another one start to continue the banking of the barracks. Um, Terran still has not uh, gone scouting yet. And Protoss is, um, you know, scouting around, seeing what's going on. Our turn does pull off an SUV, but it goes right back to mining. Um, seems to be a little bit of a, of a greed, maybe. We'll see, we'll see what uh, Protoss wants to do this time. Whether if he will go one gate expand um, this time or not. So we'll soon see he does take the tower, so that's a good thing. He wants to see that it ain't coming. Uh, Terran did cancel that, so he's going for reactor. He must have been in tech lab. And he's coming out with additional barracks. Um, so, Battle Cruiser won with uh, just straight up uh, doors, and they were like um, almost 3 2, so. And I really thought that Tomb Bomb had that. He did a lot of damage. He did take out a hundred and some odd workers. Um, but he called the GT. So, well, we'll see how, how this one comes out. The SCV does come in the scout. You have to remember um, that a, um, a Zelda cannot catch a SUV. So we do have a Stalker coming out as well. Once a Stalker comes out, the SUV is going to have to vacate the premises or otherwise it's going to die so we'll soon we'll keep an eye on on that and whether or not and the SUV does get taken out this time so it does get that scout this time uh, we did see an additional gas come so that's kind of interesting double gas um, this early in the game and it has not come out uh, with anything right yet now two more gateways coming out here in the bottom um, uh, That's kind of interesting and we have a Twilight Council as well So is it going to go like a blink stalker? Hmm, possibility that seems to be the case uh, Darren just takes the uh, tower rack um, that uh, now, unfortunately, the Zelt is going to have to turn around. That's a lot of bio, but I still think it could do it. So, more Stalkers coming out at this time. Now, uh, is there going to be maybe early DTs? Uh, we'll have to see what happens there. Terrence coming out with their expansion right now. Um, coming out with the additional barracks. So, last time, I think it was on two total barracks. Uh, so this time he's changing up his gameplay just a little bit. Um, maybe also Timbaum is thinking he might go ahead and do the same 
sort of play. Not really seeing that, but I'm seeing more stalkers right now uh, being warped in at this very moment. So uh, we do have a total of six stalkers. Um, just probably going to take some map control. Uh, they will definitely do that. However, they're, they're not. I don't. I mean, we don't have no bunker yet, but that's a formidable force. Um, marauders, uh, Marines. Um, we'll soon see what happens. We have Blink. Yeah, so Blink Soccer is what I thought was going to happen. Stem is also being researched as well. Um, he already does have Concussive Shell, as you can tell by that. So, Concussive Shell is uh, going, is done. Um, Blink is going to be done in, in about like 15 seconds. And we, um, he is not even halfway through his uh, stem as of yet. Now, continuing Marauder production, so this is way different than the previous game. Uh, blinks away. Um, and uh, Blink uh, is pretty good. But, I mean, Marauders will just tear through Stalkers. So, if it's going to stick on a Stalker base army, not gonna go well, but he has blink, so should be able to blink, blink back, and that's what he's doing. Uh, he's blinking back, and he keeps doing that. Now, Terran, uh, he's just you know, uh, just make sure there's no choke points that they can get into. Um, maybe that's why he's taking out the rocks. I'm really not sure why he's taking out the rocks. So, uh, I'm proud of just scouting uh, with these six soccers at this point. Um, no, Terran has a, a full two ore rolls right now, just constantly. We are getting plus one as well. Uh, a Robo facility is coming out. He can get some uh, um, uh, good um, uh, now Marauders. Uh, the Stalkers will blink forward, take out some some of the units. Um, so, Sentry's force field blink towards the Stalkers. Uh, very good play, very good play. Uh, now, Terran's probably going to want medevacs before they go any further. Um, so, I'm thinking that's what he wants to do. Um, he needs to get more bio. Unfortunately, these uh, these units are, are hurt right now. Um, yeah, he does have stem, but you don't want to stem too much without medevac support. So. Uh, we do have a starport and the factory, so we're probably going to see a hot swap. Uh, I hope Terran can live uh, during this time. I hope we'll see, see what happens. I have another barracks, and so it's going to be sitting on five barracks, uh, two constant marine production here. Um, now we don't have any colossus as of yet out on the field for the Protoss. We don't, uh, don't really have a whole lot of splash, so um, I am a little concerned uh, that there is no splash out there as of yet. Uh, Gateway Army uh, cannot beat a heavy Marine Marauder composition. Um, they'll just get eaten up, uh, especially upgraded Marauders too, uh, with stem. You got to remember that. So. Um, Carriage is coming up, so that will help him. Combat Shield is more than halfway done. Uh, we also have the uh, armor as well for the turn. So he does already have weapons level 1. Uh, huge help. Two medevacs have just popped. So we, those medevacs should start to, to heal this bio. And as long as he can uh, heal that bio, he should be okay. Uh, and that that uh, that uh, that gateway army is it's just uh, you know they're just uh, trying to blink away. Um, stalkers are pretty great, especially with blink. So he needs a couple of more uh, um, couple of more medevacs, and that's what he's getting. And his armor is almost on charges. Done in about like 20 seconds, so we'll see what happens here. Uh, so weapons level one and ground armor level one done. 
just about for Protoss as well. But I'm still concerned because Protoss has absolutely no splashes at all. Like, um, if he sticks on that gateway army too much, um, that could be GG uh, right there. Um, now that's a very, very potent uh, Marine Marauder force. Um, you know, Marauders, uh, and now does he did look for the um, uh, the Protoss knows where they are because there's an there is an observer here with the following that army. So the observer is just following, and you can see the stream of units just flowing in right now. Um, but now it does catch those SUVs, so a good force field, uh, good force fields right now. Um, but there's still a lot of units right now, and uh, I'm not sure how uh, Protoss is going to be able to deal with this. That's a lot of bio, and they're just stemming up, and it's got a lot of medevac support there, so he can keep doing that. And that Archon is not going to do it. GG! And Tyrion takes the series. Wow. Pretty good diamond player, I must say. Beat the Masters. That's a pretty good diamond.